big topic. If you watch my 11 Bravos video, we talked about how you shouldn't fuck with anybody with this blue cord on because that means they're infantry. But there's other shit you should look out for too. Today, we're talking about this one. If you don't know what the Maroon Beret means, it means that they're airborne. If you don't know what airborne means, think of a paratrooper. Now, in my experience, all the crazy shit you see the military do, if you're in the military, becomes less and less scary as time goes on. That's because you start to understand it more and you start to meet more and more people that have done it and they tell you it's not that big of a deal. This is not one of those fucking things. If you've been around anybody with an airborne tab, you know that it is extremely hard on your body. Extremely hard on your knees. The urban legend in the military is that over time, it literally makes you two inches shorter. Think about that. You're getting shit clapped off the Earth's crust so hard, it makes you shorter. And that's not even the scariest part. The scariest part is when you're a civilian, you think the term military grade means that something's ultra tough and rugged. You join the military and you find out military grade is just a term that means it's the pile of shit made by the cheapest bidder. So as a new recruit, you're kind of like, mm, jumping out of a perfectly good plane seems a little sketchy. But then you've been in for a minute and you're like, mm, jumping out of a perfectly good plane with a parachute made by the cheapest bidder? Nah. But to be fair, the army does pack all their parachutes in-house by army parachute riggers, and they take their job very, 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 very fucking seriously. So that adds a layer of confidence. But fucking still. And that's just the act of jumping out of the plane. That's the easy part for these guys. Because they're not jumping out of a plane to get to the front line, they're jumping out of a plane to get past the enemy lines. I'll give you an example. The most famous airborne mission of all time, I believe, is when the 82nd Airborne and the 101st Airborne conducted Operation Overlord during World War II. Now, everybody knows about storming the beach in Normandy, but not many people know about Operation Overlord. Which is a shame because it's fucking epic. I mean, think of the amount of stones you gotta have to parachute behind enemy lines before the invasion of the beach happened. You are walking out of a perfectly good plane with no backup, no way to retreat, no way to get more supplies, and nobody to come and help you if they don't succeed at the beach at Normandy. I don't know if that is confidence or insanity, and I don't want to find out. Could you imagine being an enemy on the ground watching those parachutes come out of those airplanes? It'd be terrifying. Just the overwhelming feeling of, oh shit, these guys are all in. These motherfuckers aren't scared of gravity. They're definitely not scared of me. In conclusion, if you think Jeff Bezos is cool with being able to get you a package in 48 hours, you should see what Uncle Sam can do with these fucking guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my content, well, maybe you'd like to buy me a beer about it. There's a link for that in my bio. If you're watching this on YouTube, that link is in the video description. There's also a link to my YouTube channel in my bio. So until next time, thank you for your service.